So now in this follow-on video, we're gonna look at examples of how to use the cosine rule instead of just looking at the formula. So we have a triangle in front of us. We know 10, we know eight, we know the angle in between it, 50 degrees. And we wanna find out what the length of this side here A is, okay? So we're gonna write the uh, cosine rule. So it's gonna be A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus two BC cos of A. Uh, so we're just gonna sub the values in, so it's going to be a squared is equal to 10 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 8 multiplied by cos of 50. Uh, stick that into our calculator, so we're going to find that that's equal to 61 Point one five. There's no point really doing, you can do each one individually if you want or you can just stick it all into the calculator at the same time. So that means A is going to be the square root of 61.15. That's a little trick you have to do to find A. Um, and then our answer for A then is going to be 7.8. Okay, so hopefully that's straightforward enough. It's just about uh, putting the values into your formula here stick it into your calculator and then you find your answer for a so a is equal to 7.8 centimeters or whatever uh, unit these angles or these sides are in Does that make sense uh, so we're gonna look at a second example as well in this video so uh, i'll scroll down and then i'll write it so one two okay so here we have the uh, second example written out so in this case we have the three sides and we're looking for the angle a Okay, so if you watched the last video, you know that we're going to use the same formula. We're just going to rearrange it a little bit. So I'll write it out again. Uh, we'll go red. So it's going to be a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos of a. Okay, so I'm going to move this 2bc cos a over to this side and move the a squared over to this side of the equation. So then we're going to have 2bc cos of a, and it's going to be positive, is equal to b squared plus c squared minus a squared. So you move the plus over to the other side of the equation, it'll go to minus, okay? And now we're just going to divide everything by 2bc, uh, and we're going to be left with, I'll go a different color for it, we're going to be left with cos of a is equal to b squared plus c squared minus a squared, all divided by 2bc. So if you divide everything by 2bc, you're really left with this. And this is what we're going to use uh, for this exact question here because we want to find the angle. Okay, so uh, it doesn't matter which side b and c is, it just matters that this one here, number 9, is a. Okay, so I will scroll down like a little, little bit more space and um, go a different color as well. So that means cos of a is going to be equal to, we'll say, 6.8 is b. So 6.8 squared plus 7 squared minus 9 squared all over 2 multiplied by 6.8, so that should be a decimal point, multiplied by 7. I'll just fix that decimal point a little bit as well. Okay, you're going to stick that into your calculator and you're going to find that cos of A is equal to 0 0.1495. Five, and then A is going to be inverse cos of 0 0.1495. Again, that's a button on your calculator, uh, and we're going to find that our answer A is going to be simply 81.4 degrees. Okay, so hopefully all that makes sense. They're the two kind of general ways you're going to use the cosine rule, either to find the last side of a triangle or to find one of the angles in a triangle. Yeah, and you can do that again and again um, if you want to find the other two angles of the triangle. But because I'm going to leave that question up to you guys to finish, so you guys can try and answer that and do it in the comments. So just um, to be able to do it if it's not the letter A given to you, if it's the letter B instead like this, uh, it doesn't make any difference to the maths at all. You just have to uh, change whatever symbol you use. But anyway, uh, that's it for the kind of basic rules of trigonometry. And now we're going to start looking at more difficult examples uh, of where we have to use the sine rule, the cosine rule, uh, and sine, cos, tan, and Pythagoras all together to solve kind of big, complicated problems. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video and uh, try to answer that one and leave the answers in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe.